All right, good morning, guys. Uh, today we're going to talk about trees. Um, if you uh, watched and practiced the little tree video from Friday, um, really, he does a great job of showing you the exact same thing that I would show you. I'm going to teach you how to make pine trees. So just like any other day, you can see I've got my water here, and I'm going to drip water into the colors that I need. Um, I'm going to need... Um, a little bit of red, uh, yellow, green, and either blue or purple. Um, pine trees, uh, if we talk about them just in terms of their shape, right? Um, they are, uh, we think of them like they're triangles, but they're not uh, a clean triangle they are a jagged triangle. So a lot of times this is what we want to think about. We want to think about just um, like a Christmas tree, uh, but that is inaccurate. Like I can look out my window right now and uh, see my neighbor's big uh, like spruce tree. And what I notice right away is that it does something like this, like it's jagged and it has layers that stick out. And they're not the same on either side of the tree, right? They're different. So um, just doing this now with a colored pencil and looking, like I said, out the window, at the tree, at my neighbor's house. Um, and then what I notice is that there, these sections have shadows at the bottom. So if we talk about the, a tree in terms of just like its shadow structure, I would get something like like this, right? I could do the same sort of thing thinking about um, like a regular tree. It is, um, you know, basically like this, except it's not like this. It's not as solid as this and would have chunks. So, and sky holes, like they talk about in the video but there are lights and darks and pieces to that tree. And that's, it's these chunks that we want to think about when we're thinking about painting. We paint in shapes and then, like I said, making sure we're thinking about sky holes. So if I have just that generic like thought in mind while I'm painting, and it might help you to do a little sketch like that with just a pencil. Uh, pine trees are kind of a murky sort of green, uh, so I'm going to build a murky sort of a green. I, again, I'm just using the random kind of paint that's in here. It looked like some green, some blue, and I just added a little bit of yellow. There's probably some purple in here. Uh, so you can see that it's kind of a icky looking yellowy green. What I'm going to do is we're really going to utilize the paintbrush goes two directions, and I'm going to start with my paintbrush tall and skinny. And I'm going to kind of zigzag my paintbrush back and forth as I go down the paper, leaving gaps, leaving those sky holes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit brighter, a little bit more color. So I'm taking a little bit more green, some blue. And while this is still damp, I'm going to come in here and just bump the bottoms of these with a little bit more of this blue-green color. So that I have sort of that sensation of like shadow spots in my tree. And as this dries, you can see it's just wet into wet, like color mixing. As this dries, I could have to go back and just adjust my color, okay? Um, so I can show you another one. Again, I go back to something a little more yellow. Um, and I'm going to pull this line, sort of a, like a zigzag. So there's step one. I'll show you step one again.
zigzag down zigzag down with your lighter kind of more yellow color then you need a darker color make sure it's not this color this color bright bright green is just wrong for a pine tree and so if I need this to get dull that's when I need my red so I'm gonna pull some of this red from over here and I'm gonna mix it into my green See, I'm mixing that in, and you can see how I'm getting a, a nice, like, gray green or murky kind of green. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to put that darker color in there. I want to be able to see both colors, both values. So, like I said before, I might have to come back and add more paint just to kind of um, make that happen but there we go so that is with that darker color a little bit of pine tree we don't these usually grow all the way to the ground and I think when you paint them they look better if you just assume that they're all the way to the ground um, and don't put any like branches in them you don't see those branches very often either because they the branches come out from every direction um, next we have this little guy the regular Call it the regular kind of tree the leafy sort of tree I'm gonna paint it the same way it's gonna be in multiple steps but I'm gonna start with a, a lighter yellower green and I'm painting in chunks sky holes are super important a tree will not look like a tree if you don't have sky holes now I'm gonna to switch to this darker green and I'm gonna come back and again, this is all about wet into wet color mixing. I'm going to skip sky holes again. So my tree isn't going to get too, I don't want it to get completely solid one color. Bump that green in. Make the shape irregular. We definitely don't want that shape to get super solid. Um, trees have irregular spots right so you can see I'm like kind of dabbing in some extra like leafy texture out here at the edge um, as this sits up now I can add some blue into that green so that I get a dark kind of shadowy color too much blue add a little bit more green and I can push that darker shadowy color in at the bottom of these chunks. My paint's a little wet. You wanna wait until it dries maybe a little bit more than I did. And if I want my pine trees to feel super shadowy, I can do the same thing. I can go back and add more shadows into those. If you feel like your paint gets too dark, you can use paper towel lift off to lift some of that out. Um, and I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I add uh, branches and a trunk. Otherwise, they just leak all over the place. So I'm going to show you the steps again. I'm going to start with my yellow or yellowy green. Making sure to skip sky holes. I'm going to add a little bit more green to my yellow now. Coming in along the bottom, letting that yellow stay there. And now I'm going to add that darker, more blue color. And you can see like I'm just sort of dabbing my paintbrush. I'm letting, letting the paint mix on its own. This is that unique watercolor property where the watercolor mixes by itself in the water um, and I want a lot of that to just sort of happen as I'm making trees uh, if I find that it gets a little dark I can take a tissue um, and do a little paper towel lift off didn't bring a few tissue with me but I can like pull highlights out of here so I'm using a towel if I feel like it gets too puddly because now I can go back and I have a little bit more control of my color so I can put a little bit more green in here so there are things that you can do like that 
Now, this guy's maybe dry enough for a trunk. You don't want to just use brown. We need a gray. Tree trunks are what we call a warm gray. So I have my green and my red that I mixed up over here. Add in a little bit of brown to it. Maybe a little bit of purple. So I just need a dark color. And now I'm gonna use my paintbrush up and down. Remember we get wide paintbrush, that's too big for a trunk. Skinny paintbrush is better because these are tiny. You can see I've got loads of them here on my sketchbook page. You wanna make sure that your branches feel like they're supporting the tree. So they should go up and into the leaves a little bit. And then we'll always see some up here too, up into the structure of the tree itself. The great thing about trees is, is that they all look different. So I can add a really different style trunk to this guy. But my trunk definitely needs to look like it supports all these leaves because we need branches to make that tree happen. I have like a side of the tree over here that just has some branches, no leaves. So I'm, you can see I'm putting more, more branches over there. You don't have to overdo it on the little branches in the sky holes. It just helps your tree look like it's holding itself up. So practice both kinds of trees today. Um, I'm also going to post a little video on how we add trees into landscapes that we've already painted. So have fun. Practice your trees.